Hello and welcome to the Quiver Channel. I'm Jason, your host. So we're on our way to Bentley. We're going to have a little wander around Bentley. I haven't been up here for a while and I like going to different places. So I'm going to have a long, long... exploration. La -da 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 -da. Go here so I'm not on the angle. I swear some of these signposts and that, they just don't think about how much space. It's like, ooh, some of them are like, so close. <laughs> but we're having fun. We're going for a little bit of a wander. This is a place I used to go a lot, because when I lived in Bentley, to get to college I had to travel and I didn't usually travel here I usually traveled on the actual walkway through the fields to keep away from people because once then I was always trying to keep away from people from anyone I didn't know from interactions I wanted to just get from where I wanted to go thingy at the most easiest way possible my aunt lives somewhere around here But yeah, the freedom of being able to go for a little wander like this is amazing. Not the easiest thing here. And you can't see if anybody if there's a vehicle there. Back on here. Beep, beep, beep. We will officially hit 600 miles on the Quingo soon. And yet it's still 8 Celsius. So kind of chilly. Would have my socks on. And have my hoodie on and my hat and so. And if it got windy or anything, I'd just put the sides down and it'd be quite toasty warm in here. So yeah, I want to go all the way up to the top of Bentley and have a wander around the primary area, which means we'll go onto the road in a bit. I don't like going on this road, this road's quite a fast road and people sometimes go down here quite fast. I am also always have to be aware of just how. Squishy a vehicle like this is. I'll have to check the tyres at some point in time. My tyres are still pretty good. But at some point in time, probably next year, I'll have to switch, have new tyres and the bearings will have to be replaced and that because it gets a lot of use 
It's like a car, you've got to have maintenance on it. Hmm. So we're going to cross in the... See, there's a, there's a little bit of a road that we're going to go on that is going to be very bumpy because they've got lots of what's called sleeping pleepsmen on the floor to slow down thingy stuff. Yeah. And so. Okay. My mummy used to work at this. Um, well, it used to be a full. Um, garage here used to have petrol thingy. That someone. That's someone delivering something, but it'll have to be put in. They'll probably put it in there. And they, uh, uh, I'm too far away to get to have a delivery. <laughs> Way too far away to have a delivery. Mm -hmm. Right, where are we going? Focus, Jason. Not much we can do about that. Oh, that's a nice car. Uh, so... Hmm. I'm actually going to not follow that, that... The pavement over there that leads to the place I want to go is actually really, really... tight for this vehicle, so... We'll go on the road here. We'll go around the corner here. Let's go go through. So I'm going to try and find a way through here, he said. I like going on the road sometimes, especially back alleys and that, that this, which are fine. Because this vehicle really does, I do like to let it. Used to be, when, when, we, when we used to ride horses, there's something called giving a horse its head or something like that where you basically let the horse run at full thing. It can be dangerous, but in certain situations, letting the horse go at full speed without you resist slowing it down at all can be pretty amazing. And the same thing goes, this vehicle, I think, when I can put full throttle on, when I can get on the road and that, and I'm not limited by the amount of speed I can do on the pavements, it's fucking awesome. I absolutely adore going down roads but there's I have to be aware that I am squishy even though I've got my lights on and everything so I have to make sure that if I'm going to do this it's on a safe place on the road this thing can go up to legally it can go up to eight mile an hour it can go up to nine and a half ten mile an hour but I never take it that high This is the start of the interesting road. Mm -hmm. 
Then we'll move her. Oh, I'll have to get through here. Can we know? That way, let's go. Let's get on this side there. All right, so, when people park right at the end there, there's no room for two cars, and I'm not going to go in the way of a car because I can move out of the way onto the pavement. You know, we've got these bumps all the way up. You know, we can pretty much go the entire length of Bentley all the way up this. A friend of mine, Alan, when I was in school, he used to live down here, somewhere high up there. I remember going to a party on the phone. As long as there's no cars on both sides, there's enough room for a car to pass me easily. And I am a Class 3 vehicle, fully registered with the DL DVLA, so I can go on here. Make sure there's nothing coming in here. The rear-facing camera allows me to keep an eye on anything coming up behind me. And I can basically go the entire length of Bentley up to the top and then go down around all the main streets once I'm up here. Now this kind of run does take the battery down. I mean seriously, I'm running at full pelt. Just keeping an eye, making sure nothing's coming behind me. It's a lovely road to go up. If it wasn't for these blooming bumps. <laughs> Off we go. Turbos. You can do it if you're being curious. I could go across over here, but I don't want to. I want to keep going all the way to the top. So let's just make sure there's no um, cars coming and then just continue along. This is also a good run for the engines, engine in this, the motor. If there's any problem, should I'd be able to tell by going like this. enough room for that. Still no one coming behind me. People don't use this road that often because of these fucking bombs. They are a pain in the freaking ass. <laughs>
All right, what do I need here? I need to... Cross over onto there, so... This is the easiest way. We're still going further up. Now... Hmm, I'm just going to actually think about this. Yeah, I think I'll just wait here for a bit. If I, um... Wait till this car's gone past here, and then I'll go further on. This way really cross over here, I think. I'm just trying to find the best place to cross over here. I don't know whether we're going to be free. Thank you. to be a little bit of a squeeze here getting past that and I think for where I want to go this is a good place to go let's go up this because we're going to go right to the top of the place around here. Yeah, I haven't been around here, so we Oh, quite a hill. This is an amazing vehicle. It always has been. used to be one of my old haunts. You see, I didn't know I had autism when I was young. I just knew that I didn't want to be... In fact, let's stop here. Stop here for a second and... Just so we start the video, because we're already 18 minutes.